the front. Salute! Alright. Okay, I don't have any hair on. If you look on my uh, top of my hat, there's five crystals there. Right? And if you look under my hat, there's a magnet and another three crystals. Now, you probably say, why is a veteran wearing crystals and magnets on his hat? It's so I can make a psychic antenna. Well, you say, is he nuts? Is he nuts? Nah, I'm gonna, um, I've channeled a bit of stuff about opening the mind. Is he for real? Yeah, opening your mind. <laughs> um, yeah, like when you look at geometry or geometrical shapes, the brain, the eyes look at the shape, it goes into your brain, right? It opens up your brain. Now, this is like a new Bible for the children, okay? I've I've psychically mediumed, channeled down what we got to do, you know? It's like, fuck, we've got to evolve the children, you know? So, so I've worked out the shape and the colours and uh, what to do and yeah there's 72 photographs okay 72 photographs of a coloured shape that's a hologlyphic right so what you do all right this is the shape a circle with a square in it and a triangle right now, the triangle's yellow, the square's red, and the circle's blue. Right? Now, you unfold this 72 times, and you'll get, you'll get circle, square, and triangles around it opening up like a flower. Okay? They've got to be the same size as the original circular, circular circumference. Anyway, every time you unfold, unfold this circle with a square and a triangle, right, you take a photo of it. 72 of them, so you unfold it 72 times. Then you upload onto a computer each 72 photographs and you make every seventh pixel pink, okay? Then you turn each picture with their pixels, every seventh pixel pink, you turn them into a hologram. Then you make a book or a computer program called, what will we call it? We'll call it Solomon, Solomon's art, and uh, King Solomon's seals, that's it. So you make the 72 photos with the every seventh pixel pink of the unfolding flower of the square, the circle and the triangle, the triangle being yellow, the square being red and the circle being blue. Okay, and you turn them into holograms. Now you get a four-year-old kid <coughs> and you show him the first hologram just of the circle, square, the square and the triangle. And then you let him go away for a week. Now his eyes have looked at that hologram 
it's gone into his brain backwards and unlocked a part of his mind. Now we only use 9% of our brain, some are using 10, but uh, every time you unlock the child's mind, he gets, he uses more percent of his brain. It's like each photo is a key for a door. Now we live in Babylon, like the mind is a prison of Babylon, the Tower of Babel and all, all the psychics that built them before they were told to go away and he stopped them from communicating with each other, being psychic. But um, yeah, so in the second week you get the next opened 72 photo, the second photo, show the four-year-old kid, his eyes read it, goes into his brain, unlocks a part of the cube. Okay, because the mind's in a prison cube. Only at 9%. Now, at 49%, they can fly and leave their body. At 72%, they can morph into other beings. Um, shape shift. So you're going to have some pretty powerful kids on your hands. You know, once you've shown them all 72 holograms. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like... I am undercover brother, like, some would call me Jesus, some would call me a nutter, some would call me the crazy veteran, you know, the doctors have called me schizophrenic, psychotic, and have grandiose ideas, bipolar, manic depression, PTSD, and autism. So there you go, don't go and see psychiatrists, you'll have all these new new dilemmas in your life. But that's how you do it. I'll show you one more time. Okay. The blue circle, the red square, the yellow triangle, and then you turn them into flowers. Each time you open it, put a circle there with the triangle and the square. Take a photo, then put your next circle. Take a photo, and it's got to go around 72 times. Okay, 72 times like a flowerette opening up. Okay, all right, now they could, they could kill me for this, right? The Masons, the Masonic Order and the, the Grey Aliens basically, they don't want us to evolve. Okay, they're like, no, we'd rather keep them as sheep. But uh, if we don't evolve, then we're going to go insane. So, yeah, yeah, we have to evolve. And uh, whoever's the genius that can work out what I've just told you and put it on a computer, it's like writing a new Bible, you know, because Constantine in 333 AD wrote the Bible and he was a Roman. So the Bible's full of shit. Okay, it's just a DNA register with a few, few high-ranking officials of Jesus and God, and you know, and then and then they tell us we're all going to die in an apoc apocalyptic event, you know. So <clears throat> I've got a different idea. We're going to write a new Bible and evolve the children, teach them the right way. Okay, open the cube in their minds. Because it's just a cube, Babylon. But I am a freedom fighter. Okay, so whoever does this Bible has to create holograms, has to make every seventh pixel pink, and has to make geomic stuff on a computer program. So you've got to write three programs to make this Bible. But uh, good luck. I don't have any children, but if I had a four-year-old... I definitely would make the Bible. Alright, go oh, fuck off!